What's up guys? This is Yeah Boy. This is the fourth video in a series of four where I teach the best strategy for the Golden Channel map in World of Warships Blitz. The first three videos covered destroyers, cruisers, and battleships. This video covers aircraft carriers. Your primary objective as a carrier is to help your team control the target area. The way your team does that is by getting in the cap. But as an aircraft carrier, you don't always want to be in the cap. In fact, most of the time you don't. Your goal should be to get as close to the battle as possible without getting sunk. Think of it like this. The closer you are to the cap, the more damage per minute you can deal. But there's a trade-off. The closer you are, the more risky it becomes. And you just might get sunk if you're caught by the enemies. So there are many different positions you can take on the map, but they really just boil down to two types of playstyles. There's an aggressive playstyle and a conservative playstyle. Let's start with conservative. Watch my position on the mini-map in these time lapses. I didn't reverse to the edge of the map. I moved closer to the cap, then turned in circles just to stay moving and stay close to the cap. You don't have to turn in circles like this. That's just what I did back in 2019. These days, I do something a little closer to this, since destroyers are more aggressive and like to YOLO for CV kills. You have to be much more careful about getting too close to the cap, but it is doable. Here's an example of a very aggressive strategy. Notice how I go straight to the island and use it as protection. Also notice that I face my ship in the direction opposite of the enemy movements so that I can either get out of there or maneuver around the island. Now let me back up for a second to show you something. If you want to play aggressively, you have to make sure that you stop your ship before you sail straight into the cap. Look at the enemy CV. They sailed straight in and got obliterated. Here's another example. Trust me, it never ends well when you YOLO the middle. But you can get close. You can hide behind the islands on the edge of the cap. Just make sure you get there as quick as you can before the enemy battleships get in range. Also, whichever side you're on, defend that side first to keep the enemies from creeping up to your ship on that side. You have to protect the cap, but you also have to protect yourself. So protect the path that leads to your location. Don't let any enemies get too close, and don't hesitate to ask for help if you see an enemy headed your way. Make sure to target them with the chat call out so that your teammates know who you need help sinking. Now, I can't emphasize enough how risky this position is. All it takes is one ship to come up the side or the middle and your position is compromised. And if your position is compromised and you need to leave, try to reverse or sail straight away from the enemies rather than showing full broadside like this. The island that this ranger came from was actually a safe spot at the time, but for some reason he left and got himself sunk. So if you're going to play this aggressive, plan your escape route carefully. Now let's go back to the conservative approach. You still want to be close to the cap, but rather than being behind an island, you're just a little further away and able to escape a lot easier if you need to. Try to either stay moving in a circle or change directions or speeds very frequently so that if a destroyer sneaks up on you, their torpedoes are more likely to miss. That is, if they don't torp you point blank. So keep an eye on which area of the map the enemy destroyers are on, and protect the path that leads to your ship. Whenever you can, prioritize attacking the enemies that are inside the cap or are about to sink. Avoid clumps of enemies so that your planes don't get shot down unless there's a good reason to exchange one attack for all of your planes. Remember, when your planes are shot down, it takes even longer to reload for the next attack. To save as many planes as possible, you can send them to attack from the back side of an enemy so that they only have to fly over once. But also remember that attacking from the back takes more time so you're lowering your damage per minute to increase your longevity. For more tips on how to play aircraft carrier, check for a link to my guide in the description. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe so that you never miss any new content. Let me know in the comments what your strategy is and which CV you enjoy the most. If you want some awesome Yeah Boy merchandise, check for a link in the description. I'll catch you guys next time.